Once the crew has passed the boat into the water, the coxswain is going to need to load the remainder of the crew's rucksacks onto the boat. Watch my demonstrator as he loads the rest of the rucksacks onto the boat. Notice that the coxswain places each rucksack into the boat with the frame of the rucksack facing towards the inside and then clips it into the center line tie down using the D-ring that's in the center frame of the rucksack. Notice that the last man loading his rucksack onto the boat has a saw. The coxswain will take the saw from this person and place the saw onto the center line tie down using the two snap links that we talked about previously in the class. At no time will anybody carry a 249 saw on their person while conducting sm small boat operations. Once the coxswain loads all the rucksacks onto the boat, he's then going to need to load the boat himself and instruct his crew to enter the boat in reverse order. Watch my demonstrator as he loads the rest of his crew on the boat. Navigator, load the boat. Six man, load the boat. Five man, load the boat. Each crew member is called by number or duty position. They walk up here, secure a paddle, and then load the boat in reverse order sitting on the main buoyancy tube and hooking their heel on the outside lifeline. It is not safe for any crew member to hook their, sh their toe into the lifeline, so the, the rangers here will hook only their heel into the outside lifeline on the main buoyancy tube. Once the machine gunner enters the boat, he's going to use the pads that we talked about previously in the class to put them underneath the bipod legs of his machine gun. Before the boat can be pushed off into the water, the machine gunner must also clip the snap link on the boat rope to the, the nearest D-53 anti-corrosion D-ring on the main buoyancy tube. Once the machine gunner has loaded the boat, the coxswain will then instruct the number one man who is the last crew member to enter the boat. Watch my demonstrator as he executes shove off. Number one man, shove off. Before embarking on your waterborne operation, you're going to need to organize your crew members. There are two methods of organization, long count and short count. Watch my demonstrator as he executes long count, count off. Long count, count off. One, two, three, four, five, six, navigator, coxswain, daughter. The second method of organization is short count. Watch my demonstrator as he executes short count, count off. Short count, count off. One. Two, three, four, gunner. During long count, each member of the crew sound off with the respective number or duty position. During short count, each, each member of the crew sounds off with their buddy. The first pair is sounds off with one, the second pair sounding off with two, and so on. Short count is used so that the coxswain can rest his crew in buddy teams, so that the crew members can drink water, check their maps, or receive back briefs. Once the number one man shoves off and enters the boat, the coxswain will issue the command of back paddle. Watch my demonstrator as he executes back paddle. Back paddle. The entire crew will paddle backwards to maneuver the boat into the center of the stream or, or river. Once the boat gets into the center of the stream or river, the coxswain will issue the command of left side hold, right side give way. Left side hold, right side give way. This will turn the boat, the boat in the direction of travel. Once the boat gets facing the direction of travel, the coxswain will issue the command to give way together. Give way together. 
Upon the command to give way together, the entire crew will paddle forward, moving your boat down your body of water. In order to avoid obstacles on the river or turn your direction of travel, the coxswain can issue hold commands either to the right or to the left. Watch my demonstrator as he executes right side hold, left side give way. Right side hold, left side give way. Notice the paddlers on the right side of the boat place their paddles deep into the water and hold. The paddlers on the left side of the boat continue to paddle forward. This turns the boat in the direction that the coxswain instructed. Notice the opposite. The paddlers on the left side of the boat sunk their paddles deep into the water and held while the paddlers on the right side of the boat continued to paddle forward. This maneuver can be executed to avoid obstacles on the water or bring your boat into this debarkation site. Once the proper hold and give way commands have been issued to bring the boat to its debarkation site, the coxswain will then instruct the number one man to exit the boat first. Number one man will exit the boat. The number one man will check the, wa the water depth with his paddle, secure the bow line, and exit the boat. Tying the bow line off to something on the shore so that the boat can't float away in the stream or current and place his paddle down gently on the ground. Once the number one man secures the bow line to something on the shore, the coxswain can then instruct the machine gunner to exit the boat next. The machine gunner will exit the boat. The machine gunner will take his machine gun, disconnect it from the D-53 on the main buoyancy tube, and exit the boat and go full security at the most likely avenue of approach. Once the machine gunner has exited the boat, the rest of the crew members can then exit the boat in chronological order. Each crew member exits the boat and gently places their paddle on the shore to ensure that they ma maintain noise discipline. The coxswain will remain in the boat, and once all the crew members are clear of the boat and pulling security, he will then instruct the three and the four man to return to the boat to aid him in taking the rucksacks off the boat. Three and four man. The coxswain will begin to disconnect the equipment that he put on the boat in, this, in reverse order. He will disconnect each rucksack from the centerline tie-down and hand it to either the three or the four man. And they will position the rucksacks on the shore on some dry land. At the same time that the coxswain, the three and the four man, are downloading the rucksacks from the boat, the men pulling security will, in buddy teams, one at a time, begin to take their life vest off. One man pulls security while the next man takes his life vest off. Once they get their life vests off, they will take their life vests one at a time, come up, place their life vests with the paddles on the ground, and retrieve their rucksack.